the reality is it's two points dropped uh, for Napoli. Um, Milan, I thought, uh, probably the upper hand in, in the first half. In the second half, I thought Napoli had their chances. They weren't accurate. They didn't put them away. Piontek looked lively, um, but Jury, I think, is still very much uh, out on him and whether he's a better option than Cutrone. Uh, Ancelotti getting sent off um, after the sending off. What word did he say, Matteo? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to keep my job? <laughs> um, not the best game. No, uh, absolutely not, it, it, especially for Napoli. I expected more from them. Uh, Juve can go 11 points now clear of Napoli with a win away to Lazio. But I thought Milan, and Gab's absolutely right, they did have the upper hand. I thought Timoy Bakayoko has had an incredible resurgence after that Chelsea stint where he was awful uh, by all accounts. And Piontek coming in in the second half really did give an extra bit. I think he has more... Uh, skill overall than Cutrone. He's a better player to link up with. Cutrone is someone that you see in the link up in his passing. He's just not the player that you can really give it to him and he can invite those runs from the wide players. I thought Chalinoglu was one of the biggest mysteries how he still starts for Gennaro Gattuso. It is incredible that he's still the first name on the team sheet, it seems. He's played almost every game. Donnarumma, brilliant as well. But uh, Milan maybe could have gotten even three points. They were by far the better side in the first half. If people don't know. Matteo, a big Milan fan, which you may have got a vine for that. He's getting more and more angry <laughs> as that can, answer went on. Uh, how do you fancy your top four chances? The incredible thing is that Milan are in the top four despite playing quite mediocre, I think, as a whole for the first part of the season. And now with uh, Pionta coming in, Higuain on the way out, uh, you know, th th there's just kind of a positive thinking of the team going forward as well. Uh, we'll see if Gattuso sticks around for much longer. I still think that there's better managers out there for what Milan want to achieve, which is the Champions League, and then maybe to compete once they get there. I still think they need to improve in some key aspects. You have too many mediocre players starting consistently for the Rossoneri, given what their ambitions are.